Hello everybody, my name's Paul Taste. So the uh, first unboxing of the Mavic Air 2S has finally come out and uh, we've finally got a good glimpse at the specs so we've got a lot more detail and know a lot more about this drone. So um, I'm going to go over this in a bit more detail and I'm going to compare it to the Mavic Air 2. So let's get started. Okay guys, I just want to point out I personally don't have the Mavic Air 2S. Apparently somebody was mistakenly uh, sent the wrong drone. Uh, so they've got the specs of this drone and we can look at it in a lot more detail. The drone itself is due to come out on the 15th of April. Uh, now the first thing I'm going to mention about it is as, as we'd expect, it's going to be using the GoFly app. So even though it's come out early, still nobody can fly it yet unless they've been given an updated version of the GoFly app. So for me, the biggest improvement of the Air 2S over the Air 2 is the image sensor. Um, it's got a uh, one inch sensor, whereas the Mavic Air 2 only has a half inch sensor, which is still not bad to be fair, but we're gonna get a lot better quality out of a one inch sensor. And it's also gonna work better in a darker conditions. Now, another thing about the sensor is it's 20 megapixels. So the Mavic Air 2 had a 12 megapixel camera, but um, each of those diodes was split into four. So for a picture, it could shoot up to uh, 48 megapixels. I'm not going to mark it down for that, but the uh, new drone doesn't seem to have that purely because the fact when you look at the uh, photographic stats, it doesn't say it can go up to 80 megapixels for the photography. So I'm, I'd also question whether it's going to have HDR in it. It would be difficult to bring out another Air 2 without having HDR in, so that was going to be interesting to see. The other thing that's really cool about the new sensor is it's going to be able to shoot in a 5.4K, which is uh, going to be a huge file size, but it's going to give you a lot of detail. And it's also going to give you a bit of wiggle room. So um, if you want to shoot uh, for, if you're shooting 5.4K and then you want to reduce it down to 4K, you can crop it in and not lose any quality, which is really cool. And it can shoot up to uh, 30 frames a second at 5.4K. If we go down to 4K, it's looking like we can shoot at 60 frames per second at 4K. And then if we go down to full HD, it looks like we can go down to 120 frames per second. Uh, the Mavic Air 2 could shoot at 10 times slow motion, which was uh, 240. So it'd be interesting to see if that's just something that's been missed off the stats, or if they've actually, uh, it can't go down as slow as the Mavic Air 2. Something to find out. Something else I found interesting was the Mavic Air 2S had a 12 km to an 8 km range, <laughs> which is uh, quite incredible. Whereas the uh, Mavic Air 2, uh, I say only had 10k to um, 6k which is plenty but um, it looks like if you've got a CE drone you're going to be able to get potentially 8 kilometers out of your drone and if you've got the uh, American version uh, you're going to be able to get 12 kilometers out of it which is uh, quite incredible. Now another thing I found quite interesting, not that it's going to have a huge impact, is that the minimum temperature you can fly your Mavic Air 2 S at is 0 degrees, whereas the Mavic Air 2 went down to minus 10. So I'm guessing they've probably got some more sensitive electronics inside, uh, which is just going to make it a bit more difficult for it to handle the lower temperatures. But again, that's something to be aware of. Now another thing the Mavic Air 2 is going to have is uh, ADSB, which is going to basically mean it can be sensed by aeroplanes and it will be able to sense aeroplanes around it. So it's just going to make it a safer drone to be flying around. Now um, it's still unclear whether this is going to have a C-Class mark on it. I've heard rumours that it's not going to have it. And I've also heard rumours that it's going to come out as a CX, uh, which is going to then later adapt into which C-Class drone it will be. Um, so for me, this would be a really huge thing. I say, I believe it would be a C1 drone if, uh, if it did have a C-Class, which means around Europe and the UK, you would actually be allowed to fly it over people um, as long as you're not doing it intentionally, which is going to give you a huge amount of freedom. Uh, this drone is coming out at of 595 grams, which is about 15 grams heavier than the Mavic Air 2. So it's not a lot heavier, but it's gonna have a lot more packed into it. And it looks incredibly fun. And it looks like it's gonna have really high quality pictures. Now, something else that um, I found really interesting was it's actually got a 10-bit sensor in, whereas the Mavic Air 2 only has an 8-bit sensor. So what this means is you're going to be able to get a lot more detail in the colours. It's going to be, it's going to look a lot more professional when it's finished. It's going to have, uh, you're going to be able to colour grade it a lot more. And uh, so whereas before I thought it'd be really sad that it wouldn't have a C mark on, this is going a uh, into the professional area now, um, having that 8-bit sensor in. So uh, if you've got a GVC, obviously the C-Class isn't going to matter. So um, for anybody in America and uh, anybody in Europe with a, a GVC, this is going to be a pretty cool drone and uh, you're going to have a lot you can do with it. It's going to be really light. Uh, potentially you can get close to people if it has that C1 mark, but if not, you're going to have to get around 50 meters away if you've got your GVC. So um, this is a potentially really great drone.
Now another thing they said about this drone is that it's got a 31 uh, minute battery life and this is being flown at 12 kilometers an hour with a zero wind. So um, that's kind of what you'd expect now. That is a really good life for a drone. Um, they all tend to be around half hour now, all of uh, DJI's latest drones. And for quite a heavy drone, that's quite a good thing. So. Um, Another thing I want to point out actually is the batteries appear to be the same so it may be possible that you could use your Mavic Air 2 batteries in your Mavic Air 2S as well. So uh, if you do want it, it might be worth just getting uh, just getting the drone itself and if you've got a Mavic Air 2 combo because you may be able to interchange the two. That's something to keep your eye out for and look into. Now there's rumours of this drone coming out at £1300 for the Fly More combo which I personally think is a great deal. I say the problem that I have is that I, if I want to invest in a new drone now, I would want it to have that C mark on it, the C class mark, so we know that we can fly in the open category, um, close to people basically. That's, that's going to be a real game changer. It's going to have a, a lot less restriction if it has that mark on. So it'll be really interesting to see um, if it doesn't have it on at first, if it is something that can be retroactively added to it uh, once all the laws are set in place. And for me that is the deciding factor of whether I'm going to get one or not. I say it looks like a really cool exciting drone. Uh, there's some things like a uh, slow motion and uh, obviously the active track. It's going to have front and back sensors but again apparently no side sensors. I have crashed my Mavic Air 2 uh, from the side before uh, so um, it would be better to have the uh, side sensors but as I say it's not a huge hindrance really. It's just something to be aware of. So uh, I personally, if, if I knew this was coming out of a C1 mark, <laughs> they could take my money. But until I've got the confidence that I know it's not going to be a legacy drone, I will probably wait for the next one to come out. Okay guys, um, I would love to do a review on this, so if people are really keen on this, I will invest my money into it. Uh, just so you know, I generally earn around £120 a month from uh, YouTube. So. Uh, spending that kind of money on a drone I'm just not going to get back. If you would like to support me and uh, help this channel just hitting that subscribe button, that like button, that's going to get me, uh, that's going to get a lot more traffic come my way and I'll be able to do uh, more in-depth reviews and uh, more of them which is actually what I want to be doing. So um, if you want to help hit those buttons and I hope to see you in the next one.